I think that public art just provides the public with a moment of contemplation. Public art to me, it's a challenge. Public art means to me the human spirit. The Triforium is a really significant um, public art piece. It was identified as a signifier for Los Angeles. It never really worked right. Never really had supporters uh, advocating for it. We got together, formed the Triforium Project, won a $100,000 grant. It was so rewarding to fix this piece of public art. It could be great, but it just needed a little bit more money, a little bit more love. The thing that's so interesting with the Triforium is that it's actually interactive and it responds to music. And like other pieces of public art, it actually looks more beautiful at nighttime. Because it was just such a weird thing that a lot of people didn't know about it. So like everything else, they're just trying to shine a light on it. Oh, this is exciting. This is like the moment we've been waiting for. Right, here we go. Myself, along with Claire and Jana, we knew how great the Triforium could be but it just needed the last little push to make it great. We thought we'd get more funding. We didn't get any funding. So what other revenue streams can we look at? LA 2050 is a very generous nonprofit that essentially says, what can Los Angeles look like in the year 2050 and how can we help create that LA? And the Triforium, we won a $100,000 grant from LA 2050 because so many people felt the same way we did. We didn't have enough money to fully fix it, but we had enough money for this temporary activation. So we thought, what if we can problem solve and get it to work, and to every person who came to that event, it looked like it was fixed. And so then we started taking meetings with the city. We were naive in that we didn't know how complicated the city's bureaucracy actually was. And this isn't a dig at the city, they just have protocol. And you can't just walk in there with a bunch of money and think they'll be like, oh, we won't follow protocol. Really spread it out everywhere. <laughs> and very quickly realize, oh man, this is a much more nuanced and tangled of a project than we realize. The artwork itself is owned by the city. The area around it is managed by Department of General Services and then the park area is Department of Parks and Recreation. So even in this tiny square, we're dealing with three separate city entities. So even just right there, it's just like, okay, we gotta get everybody on the same page and make sure that we all know where we're going. The city really needs to support artists making that transfer from their studio practice into the public art realm and have it be a more welcoming space. And really, um, the bureaucracy that exists within the city doesn't, at this point in time, embrace that um, and celebrate that and see it as a gift that it really is. You know, barriers for a regular artist to be able to segue into that space and do it um, legally and with all the right permitting and with all the right authorization. The city of LA is a very large city, and I think that we need to have more mechanisms that support um, artists and arts organizations. The Department of Cultural Affairs in the city of LA is the only department within the city of LA that oversees all of that. I feel that there should be more support towards the arts and independent artists and smaller arts organizations that help to make these projects happen.
the Triforium project that we did was a really great platform to show the rest of the city, the Department of Cultural Affairs, and you know the sort of powers that be, that this sculptural piece is relevant today, and the city celebrates it, hoping that the popularity of what we had showcased would ignite some enthusiasm in the civic leaders to preserve, maintain, and hopefully restore the project, which was its, what, what we originally intended for it to, to happen. It's very clear to, to the city as a whole that public art is very, very important, that we all are, are very engaged in continuing to keep that at the forefront of our public spaces, community engagement. Uh, the Department of Cultural Affairs is absolutely engaged across the city on various different levels, from children to young adults to seniors, in getting them involved in different programs, um, similar to murals, to public art, to museum tours, etc. Um, so I think that uh, it, it, it is absolutely, arts and culture are a, a huge component to anything that we do, because it is the city of Angelinos, and we are not just boring and bland by any means.